Magandang araw po sa ating lahat and welcome na naman ulit sa ating panibagong video and welcome to school year 2021-2022 and we will be discussing today about the grade 8 mathematics quarter 1 module 1 once again welcome po sa ating school year 2021-2022 I hope na ready na po tayong lahat para sa panibago na namang taon so now our Discussion is all about factoring polynomials and sometimes we call this one special products and factors. So this is for SY 2021-2022 and grade 8 mathematics quarter 1 module 1. So let's start. Our learning competencies, we have your factor completely different types of polynomials. We have this one, polynomials with common monomial factors, difference of two squares and sums and difference of two cubes. Our objectives, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to find the factors of polynomials with a common monomial factor, difference of two squares, and sum of two cubes. So, first, let's define what is factoring. Okay, so factoring, or called factorizing, is the process of finding the factors. Okay, so process of finding the fac factors. Factoring is finding what to multiply together to get an expression. And what is polynomial? Polynomial, polynomial is an expression of more than two algebraic terms, especially the sum of several terms that contains different powers of the same variables. And polynomials counts from poly means many, and nomial means term. So it says many, ter many terms. So for example, we have this one, two x squared plus x minus 12. So this is a polynomial with three terms. Okay. So what are the types of polynomials? So we have this one, monomials. Monomials are the algebraic expression with one term. For example, we have here 4x squared. So this, this is only one term. So this is monomial. Okay, mono, one. And the next one, we have binomials. Binomials are the algebraic expressions with two unlike terms. So two unlike terms. For example, we have this one, 3x plus 4x. So 3x plus 4x squared. So unlike terms. And we have here two terms. So bi means two. Trinomials are the algebra expressions with three unlike terms. For example, we have 3x plus 5x squared minus 6x to the power of 3. So this is a trinomial. Okay. So let's go to greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor is the greatest number that is a factor of two or more other numbers. To be able to factor a polynomial with a common monomial factor, we have to get the first to get first the greatest common factor. Okay, so below is the process of getting it. So we have here the steps on how to find the GCF or the greatest common factor. First, find the largest number that divides each of the numerical coefficients in polynomial. And then, second, for each literal coefficient appearing in every term of the polynomial, indicate the lowest power that occurs. And for step 3, multiply the results found in step 1 and step 2. So para mas maintindihan pa natin, we have here the example. So, for example, find the GCF or the greatest common factor of 18y raised to the power of 5 minus 36y raised to the power of 4 and plus 12y raised to the power of 3. So, solution for step 1, we have to look for the factors of each term or the, or the numerical coefficient of each term. Okay? So, for 18, we have 18. This is divisible by 2, 3, and 6. And then for 36, divisible by 2, 3, 4, and 6. And 12 is divisible by 2, 3, 4, and 6. So we have to get the largest. Yung pinakamalaki. So the largest number that divides 18, 36, and 22 is 6. So out of these factors, 6 yung largest. So we will use 6. Okay? Then for step 2, the lowest power that occurs between. Okay, so for our first term, we have 18y to the raised to the power of 5. So y raised to the power of 5. And 36y to the raised to the power of 4 for our second term. And for the last term is 12y to the raised to the power of 3. So we will use y cube or y raised to the power of 3. Kasi siya po yung may pinaka lowest na power. Okay, so for step 3, we have here the GCF of 18y raised to the power of 5. Minus 36y raised to the power of 4 plus 12y raised to the power of 3 is 6y raised to the power of 3. So, saan galing si 6? 
Dito natin kinuha si 6, di ba? Then, saan galing si y raised to the power of 3? Dito sa second step, yung pinaka-lowest power ng ating variable. Okay? So, therefore, the GCF is 6 y cube or 6 y raised to the power of 3. So, I hope nag-gits po yung ibig natin sabihin. And we will go to common monomial factor. To factor po, to factor a polynomial with a common monomial factor, the following steps are used. First, find the GCF. Yung ginawa natin kanina, di ba? GCF. That's the way how to, that's the steps how to find the GCF. And second one is divide each term in the polynomial by the GCF to obtain the other factor of the polynomial. So, divide natin using yung GCF. Then, express the polynomial as the product of the factors found in step 1 and 2. So, let's try this one. We have here the example. The example, find the factors of 3x squared plus 6x. So, this is a binomial, right? So, first step is factor each term completely. So, the factor of 3x squared is we can put this one as 3 times x times x. Diba? 3 times x is 3x. Times x, that is 3x squared. Then, for our second term, we have 6x. We can... Uh, uh, factor this one like this so the factor of 6x is 3 times 2 times x 3 times so is 6 times x that is 6x so therefore kung nakikita natin dito yung pinaka largest niya number is 3 di ba tapos yung pinaka smallest niya na na variable na yung, yung power na kanyang variable is only x di ba x so therefore our GCF is 3x okay 3x then for step 3 we will divide each term sa ating GCF. Okay? So, ang mangyayari dito, 3x squared, this is our first term, divide, divide by our GCF, which is 3x. The result is x. Cancel yung 3. May x squared sa taas. Diba? Tapos, makancel yung isang x dito sa baba. So, may, may, may naiwan na isa. x. Then, for the second term, we have your 6x over 3x, which is our 3, 3x is our GCF. So, 6 divided 3, that is 2. Diba? Tapos, makancel yung x natin, the variable. Okay? So, magiging ganito siya. Okay, so 3x squared over 3x, which is our GCF, plus 6x over 3x, which is also our GCF, is equal to x plus 2. This is the result. So, therefore, the factors of 3x squared plus 6 are 3x times x plus 2. Okay? So, 3x, to check this one, we will distribute 3x dito sa, sa ating isang factor, which is 3 times x, that is 3x squared. 3x times 2, that is 6x. So, babalik po tayo sa ating original na equation or expression. Okay, so difference of 2 squares. So, ano, ano naman tong difference of 2 squares? So, the product of the sum and difference of 2 terms is the difference of the squares of the terms. Factoring an expression that is in the form of the difference of two squares, we have your a squared minus b squared, is the reverse of multiplying the sum of two numbers expression. And then for a plus b, with the difference of these two numbers expression, which is a minus b, this can be represented by the following formula. So we have this one, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times quantity a minus b. Okay, difference of two squares. Okay, so para mas maintindihan pa natin, we will go to our example. For example, we have your factor 4x squared minus 16. So this is difference of two squares. Diba? Difference, yeah, minus. Okay, tapos yung first term is perfect square. And our second term is also perfect square. Diba? So step one, find the squares of the two terms that are perfect squares. So our first term, we have your 4x squared. Diba? At saka yung 16, uh, yung, yung 16, okay? So, we have here, find the square roots of the two terms that are perfect squares. Okay, so, our A is, okay, so by the way, this is a um, 9x squared minus 16. This is not 4x squared, okay? So, 9x squared. So, the square root of 9x squared is 3x. Diba? The square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of x squared is x. So, parang ganito. 3x times 3x. That is 9x squared, diba? So, the square root of 9x squared is 3x. And for 16, the square root of 16 is 
4. Diba? Since 4 times 4 is 16 or 4 squared, it is 16. So our A is 3x and our B is 4. Thus the given becomes 3x squared minus 4 squared. This is A squared minus B squared. Diba? If we go back to our formula with this one, we have A squared minus B squared. Okay, so ito po sila, A squared minus B squared. Write the factors by the following the formula which is A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B times quantity of A minus B. So, ang ating A is 3x. Tapos, square natin. Therefore, 3x squared minus yung B natin is 4. Square din natin. So, 3x squared minus 4 squared. Diba? Is equal to A plus B. Yung A natin is 3x plus B which is 4 plus 4 times the quantity 3x which is our A minus B which is 4. Okay? So, therefore, the factor of 3x squared minus 4 squared or or 9x squared minus 16 is quantity 3x plus 4 times the quantity 3x minus 4. Okay. Then, we will go to sum of 2 cubes. The sum of 2 cubes can be factored in our product of binomial times a trinomial. In a symbol, we have here cubes. So, it means it involves cube root. So, we have here a cube plus b cube is equal to quantity a plus b times quantity a squared minus ab plus b squared. So, kukunin natin yung cube root ng ating a, tsaka natin b. Then, we'll use this one, the pattern, this one. Okay, same sign. Okay, then opposite nung ganito siya. Okay, then this one is always positive. Okay, so let's go to our example. We have here, find the factors of x cubed plus 125. Okay, the factors of x cubed plus 125. So, x cubed plus 125 is equal to yung ating a, di ba, a cubed. This is our ax, double cube. Ating b is 5. Bakit 5 si b? That's because 5 cubed is 125. 5 times 5 is 25. Times 5, that is 125. So, rewrite as the sum of cubes. This one. So, our a is x and our b is 5. Then, we will use the rule a cubed plus b cubed is equal to quantity a plus b times quantity a squared minus a b plus b squared. So, magiging ganito. Diba? Yung result from x cubed plus 125, magiging ganito. Is our a, x plus b, which is 5, times, okay? Yung ating first term sa ating trinomial dito is a squared. So, we will, our a is x, so therefore, x squared minus x times 5. Ano to sa x times 5? Diba di, sa middle term is a times b? Ating a is x, ating b is 5. So, therefore, x times 5 plus b squared. Ang ating b is 5 tapos square. So, that is 5 squared. Diba? So, if we express this one into, if we simplify this one, so the result is, ito, x plus 5, quantity x plus 5, a plus b, then times quantity, x squared, this is a squared, minus ab, x times 5, this is 5x, diba? Plus b squared, so 5 squared or 5 times 5 is 25, so this is the answer. So the factors of x squared plus 125 is quantity x plus 5 times the quantity x squared minus 5x plus 25. So I hope nagits po yung ibig natin sabihin. Then, that's all for today and thank you so much mga kaisip mat and see you on our module 2. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.